All right, cosine 2x is equal to negative 1 over 2. So what we see here on the screen, the domain is 0 to 2 pi. And you also see a little graph that represents cosine wave over the period of 2 pi radians. So the period of the function cosine 2x is defined as 2 pi over pi, 2 pi radians over pi, over 2. Hence, this is equal to pi radians. So what I see on the graph, that there are two full cycles of cosine function. Now, the value of that cosine 2x is equal to negative 1 over 2. So since the minimum value for the cosine is negative 1, maximum is positive 1, so when you draw a horizontal line across parallel to x-axis, you will see that there are four points of intersection. So this is why we may say I will have four roots to this equation. So we will do solve this by substitution. We'll say let z is equal to 2x. So in my equation cosine 2x, I'll be seeing cosine z is equal to negative 1 over 2. From the special triangle, you may remember, I hope that you do that, cosine 1 over 2 is represented by 60 degree angle or pi over 3. So pi over 3 will give you positive ratio of cosine. So, and also by the cast rule, C-A-S-T, you will see that you will be in second quadrant when you have value of cosine negative 1 over 2, and the second root will come from the third quadrant. So the second quadrant gives you 2 over 3 pi. So the first will be right here, in the first quadrant, when you would have pi over 3. Now the congruent triangle, so the related angle will be pi over 3, so pi minus pi over 3 will give you 2 over 3 pi. So the first value for z is 2 over 3 pi. So z is equal 2 over 3 pi. Well, this is not the end. You have to find x knowing that z is equal to x, so 1x will be simply calculated by dividing 2, 3 over pi by 2. All right. So when I divide that by 2, I will have 2 over 6 pi, right? 2 over 3 divided by 2, and you simplify that, so the value of that will be pi over 3. Okay, so pi over 3, we have it out of the way. Now, in the third quadrant, when cosine z is also negative, z will be equal to 4 over 3 pi. And by analogy, x will be 4 over 3 pi divided by 2. So initially you will see 4 over 6 pi. And when you simplify that, x is equal to 2 over 3 pi. All right, 
So we have two roots, first, the second. Now we will find root number three and four. So how do we do that? Remember that the period of the function is pi radians. So root one plus pi will get you root three. Okay, so x is equal to pi over three plus pi. which is equivalent to 4 over 3 pi. And the last one, 2 over 3 pi plus pi radians will give you, so 5 over 3 pi radians. Excellent. So now we have four roots in total that satisfy that equation. Root number one, root number two, the third, and the fourth. If you were to add another pi radians to root three or root four, you would be definitely outside of that given interval. So pay attention to the domain. If you were to find on the wider domain, you would have to continue adding the period to the previous root in order to find the remaining one, provided that you will stay within the interval range. So this is something important for us to understand. Okay, so this is it for now. Thank you for watching this video, and I see you next time.